Monaco went into their game with lowly to lose at the Stade Louis de on Sunday, looking for the win that would move them three points clear in the race for second place. Leonardo Jardim's men were fully expected to see off their visitors and send a riposte to the critics, who have called for more attacking football despite a run of just one league loss in 15 matches. It was the embattled away team that threatened in the sixth minute, though, as a cross from Somalia bounced up and off the top of the bar. Toulouse's defending has been their real weak point this season, though, and it was to prove their downfall again as Monaco took a 28th minute lead. Lucina Traore had time aplenty to pick out Bernardo Silva, who easily passed the ball into the net. Traore was offside initially, but the defenders still should have cleared the Ivorian's first cross. The forward's afternoon came to a premature end though, as he was replaced by Guido Carrillo soon after. And the Argentine substitute was quickly involved as he headed a Fabinho cross off the bar. But Fabio Contra was on hand to nod in the rebound for his third goal since leaving Real Madrid to join the Principality team on low. Monaco's walk in the park could have been tougher, but after Ricardo Carvalho was deemed to have handled in the area, Daniel Subasic brilliantly turned Visan Ben Yedder's penalty around the post. That let off for the home team ensured that they remain two in front at the half-time interval. Understandably, Monaco eased off a little after the restart, but they put the game to bed with 20 minutes still to go. A clever quick free kick routine gave Bernardo Silva the space to slide a low ball across for Carrillo to tap in, unmarked at the far post. Dominique Aribarge's men once again guilty of the slack marking that has epitomised their season. Elder Costa was given a late run out with the points already in the bag. Adrian Ragatan was unlucky not to give Toulouse a consolation goal with a well struck free kick that crashed into the woodwork. But it was Portuguese youngster Costa who had the final say deep into injury time with another tap-in from a set-piece. Monaco's resounding victory finishing 4-0 as their opponents shot themselves in the foot once more. <laughs>